Okay, so we've been talking about a direct of some kind for what feels like the past couple of months, right, Nate? Yeah, I, mean, I think we've been dating back to at least December now. It, it feels like at this point, it's basically maybe next week. We'll have a direct, maybe next week. But something that I think people have been looking for are release dates or when games are coming out. Because we actually know quite a few games that are coming out in 2019 at this point. And we may have actually had some dates leaked out or at least time frames that they would come out in. So like around this time. Uh, leak out. So I went ahead and grabbed Nate, Direct Feed Games, who's going to be talking us through this a little bit with me. Uh, and the reason for that is because, Nate, you're you're thinking about doing some discussion videos on your channel now, right? That's right. So you're going to be, you're thinking about trying to get one out uh, over the next couple of days now. Uh, and it's, it's an interesting topic, so people should be checking it out. And uh, his, the link for his channel is down below, and I would go check that out if you want to, I guess, have a perspective from Nate's side. Remember, he's, he's already gone viral once, so, you know, he'll do it again. <laughs> uh, so we, uh, we saw these, these release dates leak out, and as everyone started talking about it over the past day or two now. And this was from Base.com. It's a UK retailer, and we've seen this before from retailers leak stuff out. Uh, at different times, whether they're right or wrong. We've seen some get them right and some be wrong, uh, but these are interesting because it's naming three different games that we already know about, so it's not like they're leaking the games to us. They're just leaking dates, apparently. Damon X Machina, Animal Crossing, and Luigi's Mansion 3 are all claimed to have release dates here. And I'm trying to look through these and decide which one is is more than likely right and which ones are wrong, but let's start with uh, the first one at the top, which is Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing, according to them, is set up to release September 13th of 2019, which would put it the latest out of these three uh, for the release dates. Now, Animal Crossing is a is one of Nintendo's bigger games, even though people don't realize it. It consistently sells very well on a portable system like the 3DS or even the DS, which they always sell over 10, 11, 12 million copies. So this would be one of their anchors probably towards the end of the year. But uh, Nate, what are you thinking about September 13th for Animal Crossing? I think the date of September 13th, I mean, Friday the 13th, doesn't really sound like a good Nintendo release date, especially for something as wholesome as Animal Crossing. Oh, that is a Friday, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> oh, man, can they do that? I don't think they can do that with Animal Crossing. <laughs> no, that seems a little scary. See, I, I thought, I looked at Animal Crossing like a like a summer-ish game, like end of summer. I mean, that's close, but I, I, I feel like that might be later than I would have wanted it. I, I Like, it might be around that time, but I was, like, looking at Animal Crossing like it might, might be like an August release. Yeah, like, my original thoughts for an Animal Crossing were about August, and then I looked at some of the release dates of prior Animal Crossing games, and they mostly released in, like, November, especially in North America, so that, and some games actually released even, like, as early as June, so there doesn't really seem to be any rhyme or reason to when Nintendo brings Animal Crossing to a platform, but it's interesting how everyone kind of looks at Animal Crossing as that summer release, just because of the carefree nature of the game. And how you actually play, you know, it's very relaxing. It's something you want to play, like, almost on a vacation. You pick it up for a few minutes, you tend to your town, you put the game down. So September, it seems, I think it's in that window of when we could see it released. You know, say it's probably go in a month in either direction. It could be late summer for, like, an August release. And I could even see it go as far as October. But if even if it hits in September, it's kind of at the beginning of when Nintendo begins that holiday blitz. Yeah, it's, it's also going to depend because we don't know all the games yet. They haven't revealed all the games anyway for this year as, as we figure there's more that they're going to show. Uh, but I'm, I guess I guess September would work. It's just going to depend on what's around it because uh, we, we, of course, know that Metroid is definitely not coming out in 2019 at this point. Uh, <laughs> but like Bayonetta 3 is another one that we we figure might be this year. And then you try to start fit it, fitting all these games together. It almost feels like Nintendo might be trying to do like a uh, an August, September, October, November, December release for all the different games, you know, back to back to back to back. And I, I guess Animal Crossing fitting in there because they also give us a release date a little further down for another game that I actually thought would be in October. But let me let me go here to... Damon X Machina, and they place this May 24th, and I actually I actually kind of believe this one only because I figured out of the three that they talked about, this would be the one that would come out sooner rather than later. Like, we've known about Damon X Machina for a while since last E3, and if you remember last E3, they sat in the treehouse for like an hour playing the game. Yeah, so I think 
I think you're right up the money there that the Dayman X Machina release of May 24th, or at least in that general time frame, probably, definitely before E3, oh, I yeah. think we do see that game release because, as you said, they had the Treehouse segment where they play the game for an hour. The game's been demoed a couple of times now, so it's clearly far along in development. Yeah, I, I looked at it and I said when they when they went to the treehouse with it, because we got it revealed. That was the first game that they showed in that direct when they, I believe they opened with it. And then they were like, oh, we're going to show off a bunch of it at the treehouse. And they seriously just sat there and played it. And it looked it looked great. I'm an Armored Core fan, and that's basically who's building it. People from Armored Core. And I was really excited about it. And then he said 2019. I said, that's odd because it looked like it was like done. So I almost felt like that might have been one of those games that has been done for a little while. Maybe maybe they've. Like, we've talked about how they've held on to games at times, like, trying to just put it in a good window. Like, we heard that Yoshi was done back in, like, dis December or something. It was uploaded to the eShop in December. And I kind of look at Damon X Machina, and I wonder if they're just trying to fit that into a good window. Like, not necessarily holding it back completely, but just trying to place it in a good spot to sell well. I, I feel like that one has probably been done, or probably have been done for a month or two before it's even ready to go out, like, released for them. So, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to that one. A lot, and I think May May is a good spot for it. But it kind of works in to Nintendo's thought process of let's show a game for the most part. Not everyone like Zelda, obviously not that one. Metroid, not that one. But for the most part, Nintendo will show a game and try to get it out within that year. For for the most part, at the, more more than more than less, yeah, more than likely. Yeah, typically that's what we see with them at E3. Is that what they show at the E3? The games typically do release within a twelve month span from the initial showing. So Damon X Machina releasing in May, maybe even late April, would fit that plan that you typically see Nintendo stick to. And they also need a game to kind of, you know, kick off the start of their fiscal year for 2019. Yeah, what's, I mean, what's in April? Mortal Kombat's in April, I know that. And that that's third party. We're thinking more along the line of an exclusive game that would get the system, like, kind of off and running for sales. Because uh, most, I mean, I, I I know people are probably excited about Mortal Kombat being on the Switch, but I think it's going to sell probably best on the PlayStation 4 if I had to pick between the three systems. Uh, and I think, obviously, an exclusive like a Damon X Machina would get people excited. And then maybe they could announce something in a in a direct that's in the near future for April. But that's a good, that's a good time, right before E3. Because last year they dropped, what was it, Mario Tennis just after E3? Right. That came out like right around yep. there. Uh, so if they have Damon X Machina in May and then they have another game in June, like towards the end or even around E3, that would work out really well, I think. And that's not the thing about Damon X Machina. It's not like a big hitter. Like it's not an Animal Crossing. It's not a Luigi's Mansion, for example. So it, it needs some room, I think, to breathe. And May May would be good. I'd be excited for that one. Now, the net, the last one that they seem to or supposedly leak, uh, because these are all, of course, rumors, was Luigi's Mansion 3. And they put this at a, at a time that I didn't expect. And I'm going to tell you why. I thought Luigi's Mansion would have been October, like straight up. Like, I thought they would go for that Halloween kind of feel and theme. They have this placed July 19th. And this one caught me off guard just a bit, because that does not at all feel like a summer game. It feels like, again, like a, like a fall game. Uh, this is the one that feels the most out of place to me, but maybe you think maybe you're thinking differently about it, Nate. It does feel out of place just because of the, you know the nature of the game. It definitely has that Halloweeny feel because it's Luigi's Mansion. There's ghosts and stuff. But then you look at a game like Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon or Luigi's Mansion Two, as people also refer to it as, came out in March yeah. on the 3DS. So That's true. I mean, yeah. it could just be another case of you know Nintendo. You know, they do their own thing and. If they are planning on something like Animal Crossing or let's, you know, entertain the September 13th date further, when they're having something like that towards October, they probably don't want to have too many family friendly games on top of each other. Because obviously we also have Pokemon Gen 8 coming yeah. out later this year. That's it's, a good point. You, know, you need, a, need a little space between games. So Luigi's Mansion in summer. Yeah. Especially, I mean, you're going to want to show it at E3 because we haven't really seen a lot of this game yet. We only saw the initial reveal trailer, which didn't detail any aspects of the game. So you probably want to have one E3 showing for it and then get that game out, I would guess, within six to eight weeks following E3. Yeah, it's because it'd be getting it'd be getting crowded now in the in the fall because we don't even know, like I said, all the games are coming out with. We've heard the rumors of like we've heard rumors of a Zelda game getting thrown around just as an example. If they just happen to throw that in there, 
I I don't know if there would be room for a Luigi's Mansion in October, an Animal Crossing in September, Pokemon, possibly Bayonetta, and then a, a quote-unquote supposed Zelda game, and then we hear about Retro possibly having a game if it's not canceled. You might be right. Luigi's Mansion might just not have room, even though it makes more sense in the fall. Just There just might not be room. Yeah, it might also might be one of those cases of you, it's one of those more casual friendly games it's for targeted it's more for kids so you might want it out for summer while the kids are still on vacation so you can get those summer sales because there's not a lot of big releases that typically hit during the summer months so if you can have a you know a moderately sized exclusive like luigi's mansions 3 hit in late july even early august you basically you know play that role that uh project octopath played oh yeah. it has almost a month to itself limited competition you know, it can lead to some big sales. Yeah, that's a good point. Nintendo's been kind of taking a bit more advantage of the summer months now uh, over the past few years. That would actually make sense for them to drop that in there. It's just, it is kind of odd, but I mean, they'll, they'll release it when they want, I guess, if, if it really is that packed at the end of the year, as uh, a lot of rumors seem to be pointing to. I mean, you got Pokemon, you got to get out of the way of Pokemon. So that, that I guess, makes sense. So uh, out of these three, Nate, which one do you think is most likely? I already have mine picked out. Which one do you think is the most likely out of these three? I think the most likely is Damon X Machina. That's what I was going to say too. Yeah, that that one <laughs> that one makes a lot of sense to have Damon X Machina in May. Uh, whereas Animal Crossing and Luigi's Mansion, honestly, Animal Crossing and Luigi's Mansion could even flip flop for all I know because uh, again, you could go summer and then Luigi's Man- Mansion could end up in September. But Damon X Machina seems the most obvious, I think, uh, before E3, a May release, and they'd kind of be rolling into E3 with Damon X Machina out there at that point. So um, interesting stuff, though. Interesting stuff to see this. Uh, maybe we'll see a direct in the coming weeks we don't know uh we'd like to assume they would just because at this point everyone just keeps asking where the direct is and it'd be nice if they just did it but uh, <laughs> uh you may have to check out nate's videos for that as he has some interesting topics lined up and again uh nate's direct feed games channel will be linked down below in the description so go check that out nate thanks for joining me here tonight while we took a look at this uh these supposed leaked release dates <clears throat> thanks for having me Yep, and that's going to do it here, guys. Make sure you like the video if you liked it, dislike it. If not, guys, we'll see you in the next video.